Welcome back friends, in this video tutorial we will be talking about the process of gene cloning. Though we will be talking about the process of gene cloning in the generalized manner but still we are actually emphasizing on the plant biotechnology here. And again uh, the copyright goes to uh, University of Nebraska, I am just taking their presentation and sharing it with you. Ok move on. Now the process of gene cloning is used to locate the copy a specific gene from one from all the DNA in an organism. This bacteria contains a single gene of interest which is a red color here in the red segment here. The genetic engineers want to clone uh, this part and insert it into another organism. Okay. The DNA is first extracted from the bacteria into the test tube using extraction techniques. A restriction enzyme is added to cut the extracted DNA into the gene sized species. In another test tube, extracted bacterial plasmid are cut using the same restriction enzyme because restriction enzyme will cut a particular location and that particular location is specific to attach with another segment of gene. The cut plasmids are then mixed together with the gene sized species of the DNA. The gene, gene sized pieces join and bond with each other to cut plasmids to form recombinant plasmids. Some of the cut plasmids may bond with themselves without a piece of, of the cut extracted DNA. Bacteria are then added to the test tubes uh, of the recombinant plasmid. Electroporation uses quick pulses to the electricity to create small holes in the bacterial cell. Recombinant plasmids are then able to enter the bacterial with which will express the genes. The transformed bacteria will be considered transgenic. However, not very bacterium will take all not every bacterium will eventually take all uh, those plasmids but become transgenic. Plasmids naturally contain an antibiotic resistance genes, therefore transformed bacteria will be antibiotic resistance. After electroporation, the bacteria are plated out onto the medium containing a particular antibiotic uh, against which the resistant is developed for those transgenic bacteria. Bacteria that have, no, have not been transformed will not have the antibiotic resistance genes and they will die. Now, bacteria that have been transformed with the plasmid will grow and multiply into the colonies that are visible to the naked eye. Organisms have thousands of genes. It may require hundreds of petri plates of bacteria to clone all of the, these genes. This collection is called a gene library. The genetic engineering must then find which bacteria colony has been transformed with the gene of interest. That colony is then transferred to the sample petri plate. It is allowed to multiply and divide into large colony with hundreds of copies of the gene of interest and we will find uh, our gene of interest uh, inserted into the uh, desired bacterial cell or desired uh, individual cell. That's how we can clone a gene onto a desired individual. 